Yo guys, what is up? Soy back with another video, and as you guys may or may not know, I won $200 in the console platform solo cash cup, placing 19, and most of my points were through placement. 72% of the points actually were gained through getting placements, and in this video, I'm going to be going over my strategy, how I always make it to endgame, and how I play passive in these cash cups, because I am a passive player, and of course, this isn't the only strategy that will work, but I'm just going to be going over my strategy, because I want you guys to learn from it, and it's your choice whether you want to play passive as well. Of course, playing aggressive also works, and a lot of other things work as well. Amazing of both but i'm really passive so i'm gonna be showing you guys what i do in these cups before this video starts if you want to place as high as i did and have the best chances of winning money or placing really high in fncs or the weekly platform cash cups i recommend that you subscribe right now because i post the best content for you console players out there that want to get better and improve so yeah drop a sub follow my twitter at soyfmbr and let's get into the video Now a common misconception is that passive players are scared to fight, but for me, actually that's the opposite. I'm not really afraid of anyone, I just don't want to fight anyone. If someone pushes me, then I know I'm ready to take the fight, but I won't go out of my way to recklessly push someone else. So now I'm going to be showing three examples of how I handle other people pushing me and what I do to kind of win the fight defensively. Alright guys, now I'm in creative and I'm just going to be going over the ways that I disengage from fights. If I get hit for a lot and I don't feel comfortable taking the fight or I don't feel like I'm going to win the fight, this is what I do right here. The main thing I use is crash pads if I have them. It's pretty simple. All I do is box up, go on a ramp, use the crash pad, and once I use the crash pad, I shoot it out immediately so they can't follow me. The only way that you will die is if they shoot you out of the air, but usually the situations that I use it, it's hard for them because they're either in builds or they just can't do it. But if I don't have crash pads, then it's pretty simple. All I would do is just use more mats to build protect myself and just continue to overbuild because i know i could refarm them later the last thing i want to do is not use enough builds and then get hit and then get pushed even farther that's the one mistake that people make a lot so you want to overbuild rather than underbuild if anything because you can always refarm your mats later So when you're playing passive, the late game is usually the same thing every time. You're gonna have full HP, a good amount of mats, rotational items because you're not using them to fight other people and you're not gonna be in shambles because you're not really fighting anyone and at the risk of losing health. So that's why pretty much I just have to focus on rotations the entire time and now there are two main ways that I get kills and the first way is through getting ahead of zone and looking back with my assault rifle, pretty much going for free picks. This is the safest way to get kills. Just rotate ahead of zone, look back at as many kills as you can and then keep rotating. It's really just an easy way and also extremely safe but with that way you're not really getting anything other than the siphon and the elimination point so now the second way i get kills is when i really need the kills and this was known as mat refreshes pretty much to explain it it's when i'm in not the best scenario don't have a lot of mats and i really need to get a kill in order to regain mats or any resources that i could possibly use to further myself in the end game and the main way i get this is through getting in someone's box and using my attack aim to kill them using peace control if necessary and that's pretty much it i'm gonna be showing a few examples on what i do and how it comes so easy me. Fuck to like a fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's happy, baby.
So guys, even as a passive player, you still will need to be able to get kills, especially in your first game. And then in the later games, you're going to need to be able to pick up a few kills here and there because placement can't be your only source of points. And trust me, you guys got this. Hopefully you learned something from the video. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe. And good luck in FNCS and the platform cups. Peace.